guys, it's me, Kimmy, and I'm making balls. What kind of balls? Oreo balls. And no, I'm not making them in my room. But I'm in my room because I know when I record the video of me making Oreo balls, somebody gonna be up in there making a lot of noise and I'm gonna have to cut the sound. So I'm just gonna like talk to y'all and hear about it. Um, so I'm pre-recording this before I make my balls. So, yeah. So, first of all, foremost, if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe so you can be true here. Um, if you are here, you should have been like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, but if you didn't do that now. So, per always on the cooking videos, I'm going to tell you the things you need. I'm going to show you the stuff that I have in my room with me. But anything that I don't, I'm just going to put a picture on the screen or like, I'll show y'all tomorrow when I'm making Oreos. First and foremost, you're going to need Oreos. If you can tell, yes, mine are open because I'm a little greedy snacker and I snacked on some Oreos. But I don't intend on making a full serving anyway. You're going to need cream cheese softened. You are going to need white chocolates. You can also use chocolate melts. You can use the regular chocolate, like milk chocolate or dark chocolate, whatever chocolate you prefer. Um, or almond bark. If you're using the chocolate chips, like what I just showed you, the white chocolate chocolate chips, you need Crisco because you're going to put a little bit in there to help... Uh, when you're tempering your chocolate to melt it down and give it a smooth consistency. Y'all can't never act right in the video. Be happy I let you be in the video. Stay still. Okay. You're going to need a processor, a blender, a chopper, or something like that. That's electric to crush your Oreos up. Or if you can, if you don't have anything like that, you can put them in a Ziploc bag, beat them up with a rolling pin, and roll them real good. But you want to get them like really, really fine and crisp. You don't want no big chunks. Melting pot, double boiler, cup bowl whatever i'm gonna probably use my melting pot because it keeps the chocolate warm so i like it this is my melting pot i feel like this is a special edition one it's nerdy nummies um by rosanna pensino if y'all know who that is um it doesn't come with both things it only comes with this one it only comes with the uh, green one i bought this one the gray one because it has a separator and you can do two types of chocolate at once and vanilla that's about all you're going to need. Once you get that, all your ingredients, you're going to take your Oreo. I want one. I need those. I can't eat no more. You can top them. You can add like, if you do white chocolate, you add like a regular chocolate drizzle. If you do regular chocolate, you add like a white chocolate drizzle. You can put some... Oreo crumbs on them if you put you some to the side to put on them. I think I'm going to put me some to the side to put on them. I'll probably forget. Anyway, um, you can decorate them real cute. You can even do white chocolate on white chocolate jersey. You can add sprinkles. You can add crumbs of other things like pretzels or candies. You can make them your own and do whatever you want to do. But all in all, when you make your Oreo balls, you're going to take your Oreos. You're going to put them in your chopper, your blender, your food processor, whatever you use. You're going to put it in this thing or you're going to beat them up real fine, real, real, real just grainy. You shouldn't even really see any white in them. I feel like I'm going to see white in mine when I do them though because I have the mega stuff. I got the mega stuff because I like the cream. I like the cream. If you're not impressed on the cream, you don't got to get the mega stuff. that you're gonna take your soft and cream cheese you're gonna want to whip it up oh you need a mixer or well, no you don't you can do it with a spoon i'll probably do mine with a spoon i don't know y'all it just depends how i'm feeling you need a mixer or a spoon or something like that to mix up your uh cream cheese before you put your oreo crumbs in it and you're gonna mix it all up with your mixer or your spoon or whatever i prefer if you, a spoon to mix the oreos in but to mix the actual cream cheese by itself i prefer mix I add the vanilla into the cream cheese when I mix it. Okay, y'all. It's at this point that I'm realizing that I actually made a mistake. And I did add too much cream cheese because I bought the mega stuffed Oreos. I only needed half of the cream cheese. So if you do purchase the Oreos like double stuffed or mega stuffed, make sure to account for your cream cheese and to remove some of the cream cheese for that 
because I didn't do that, my mixture was oversaturated. And you're going to see it's kind of like thin. It should not be that thin. It should be thicker and more dough-like. Um, and the balls should be easy to form and they should hold their shape very easy. Mine were a little limp, um, but I did work it out. I did end up freezing them. And I also showed you something else you can do with them if you don't like the texture, if you do oversaturate them. Yeah. So once you're done with that, you can take a spoon or you can use a scoop. I'll probably use a scoop. You can use a scoop to like scoop your uh, mixture out of the bowl. Um, you want them to be about that big, maybe like an inch and a half. And you're going to roll them into a ball. You're going to put them on a piece of parchment paper or wax paper. If I did not tell y'all at the beginning that you need parchment paper or wax paper, parchment is better. Um, you need that. <laughs> um, you're going to put the part, put them on a parchment paper. After you roll them, you're going to just roll them in a ball. And then roll them in a little ball and stick them. And after you do that, guess what you're going to do? Can you guess? You're going to pop them in the freezer. Yes, you guys. They're going to go in the freezer. You're going to leave them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Maybe. You could, you could probably get away with 10 if you got a really cold freezer. If you leave them longer, it's not going to hurt nothing. And it gets close to time for you to take them things up out of the freezer. What you want to start doing is heating up your chocolate. You want to get your chocolate hot and ready. Okay? You want your chocolate on Little Caesars. Okay? Is that is it Little Caesars that's hot and ready? I think so. Okay, you want to get your chocolate on Little Caesars. We're going to say it's Little Caesars. If it ain't piece of place, I'm sorry. I stole y'all logo. Or y'all motto. Um, after you do that, <laughs> after you do that, you're going to want to dip the balls one by one into the chocolate pull it out and place it on the part on the on the parchment paper you use the same sheet or another sheet if you have room okay y'all so this right here this right here is the kicker you leave it alone okay you guys i want to say typically i would dip directly into the chocolate using a skewer but i was out of skewers but if you use this method, it should really be done on a cooling rack with a pan underneath to catch the fallen chocolate. Hey, you guys. It's me, and I just want to show y'all how I've been eating my Oreo balls since I did put too much cream cheese in them. Um, first and foremost, I have them all individually packaged and frozen solid. And I, and I eat them like that because... The texture of them when they're not frozen solid, I don't like because it's too much cream cheese. The second way I eat them is I just cut them. As you see, they are froze solid. Yeah, I just cut them in a lot of small place pieces. And I dump them over in my ice cream. Usually I only do one, but I'm going to do two because I kind of forgot to press record. And I had already started cutting one up. The reason mine had too much uh, cream cheese is because I forgot to account for the fact that I got the mega stuffed. So I should have had my cream cheese. I just use a little spatula and mix it all through. And it really be giving me flurry, y'all. Yeah, and that's how I be eating it. So good that way. All in all, when you make your Oreo balls, leave a comment down below and let me know how you like them. Yup, yup, yup. That's it. That's all. <laughs> okay, guys. This is a lot. Um, Kimmy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, make these Oreo balls. Hit the notification bell. Ding. So you can't be notified when I drop another video. And share this video and I'm out. Love you. Thanks for watching. Love you lots. Said I'll be back to hold you down. I don't want to leave you, baby, dear.